Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about some news, and we're going to talk about a question that was prompted by that news, and it has come in at least a dozen times since the news broke. And we're just going to kind of go over what's occurring, and then we'll shed a little bit of light on the question. Um, okay, so if you missed it, if you don't know what's occurring, the United States has sent advisors to Israel. And by advisors, this time it's actually advisors, not advisors, wink, wink. Um, we'll go over what the officials are saying first. And let's see. We have asked several officials with relevant experience simply to help Israeli officials think through the difficult questions ahead and explore their options. The IDF will, as always, make its own decisions. That was the Pentagon. This is state. We give them our best advice. It's important, as we said, not only what they do, but how they do it, particularly when it comes to making sure that civilians are as protected as they possibly can be in this crossfire. Okay, so remember back to the video with the question from France. This is how they're getting that influence. They're sending advisors. They're not expanding that coalition. This is how they're doing it. One of the people that has drawn a lot of attention because he's one of the advisors is a person named Lieutenant General James Glenn, United States Marines, Special Operations, just like we talked about in the video. Okay, so here is the question, and this came in a bunch, and they all pretty much had this tone. How can you think they're trying to avoid full war when they're sending the lieutenant general over Fallujah to advise? He's, and there's a whole bunch here about him, I'm going to summarize it as a monster. Please explain to me how they're sending him in the interest of peace. Okay, so for those who don't know, before we get into this, Fallujah was horrible. It was a battle, two battles, really. And it was bad in, in any way that fighting can be bad. From the fighting itself to the amount of civilian loss, it was horrific. Okay. Um, and I cannot, I honestly can't think of something comparable to say it was like this. It, it was that bad. So, to the question... Please explain to me how they're sending the lieutenant general over Fallujah in the interest of peace. I don't know how they would be doing that. Because the first thing they would have to do is bring him out of retirement. He retired in 2010. He was Lieutenant General Stadler. Lieutenant General Glenn was not a lieutenant general almost 20 years ago. That happened in 2004. I don't know what he was in 04. I know in 07-ish, he was a lieutenant colonel. So my guess is he was a major. But it doesn't matter. Captain, major, lieutenant colonel, what this means is that everything you've heard about that fighting, everything that you've seen in still images, he saw with his own eyes. Then he went on to a field that specializes in a low footprint. I would imagine, after seeing that and having 20 years to process it and entering a field where the, the idea is to not do that, yeah, he probably has some thoughts. He might be the perfect person to go over there because he'll be able to say, I was a part of something like your planning, only smaller, and this is how bad it was. Because it's worth remembering that Fallujah, I want to say it has a population of 250,000, more or less, somewhere in there. Uh, so a tenth, roughly. There is no advice that can be provided that is going to say a large-scale ground offensive 
into that area is going to be okay. It doesn't exist. If they do it, it's going to be bad. Um, a a full-scale off offensive will be bad. And however it is read by Tehran, however they perceive it, that, that is what determines whether or not this expands into a wider conflict. Um, I, I would imagine the fact that this is a, a, a person who has experience not just with massive urban combat operations, but also the alternative, the low footprint stuff, I don't think that's a coincidence. Now, what occurs is up to the Israelis. It's up to the Israeli government. Um, the, the advisors are hopefully explaining that, that a large-scale ground offensive is a bad idea. There isn't any advice that they can provide that will make it not a bad idea. It just doesn't exist. So hopefully they're explaining that and hopefully they're persuasive and the Israeli government is open to, to hearing the other side of it. I don't know that they will be. Um, but that's what's going on. So what Biden and the French president were kind of angling towards, it looks like it's happening. Um, but there's no way to know how effective it's going to be. And there's a lot riding on the ability of these advisors to state their advice very clearly and, and persuasively. Um, so the, the short version, as far as all of the questions, they're not sending the general that was over Fallujah. They're sending somebody who was in, a, in Fallujah and then later became a lieutenant general. It's not the same guy. Um, but I, I would hope that his experiences there are something that would something that would help him provide the kind of information that would make them realize that maybe this isn't what they want to do. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.